Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to episode eight. In this video, we're gonna be doing a couple things to really try and secure this base. A lot of you have mentioned uh, I've been raided, yes, uh, technically two times. Uh, one of those times my hair was cut, um, but I want to definitely secure this room the best I can and maybe try and get some turrets. We have a couple goals for this video. I'm gonna try and get a Megaloceros so I can help out with the dragon fight and uh the bat's getting really close before i do that though i'm gonna have to clear out this cave get some resources um maybe tame some extra stuff and by the end get that deer so uh if you end up liking this video go ahead and oh there's my torch go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe and without further ado let's let's get into it up gamma get stalagmite it is very dark in here probably should have turned up the gamma first but that's all right let's uh go ahead and just deal with all of these if i had some uh, rare flowers that would probably help Someone also mentioned put blood packs, put blood packs in my hot bar in case I take damage, kind of like med bruise. So um, I never thought about that given how many you get with Desmodus. So I'm gonna try doing that, see how well it pans out. They do have a cooldown as opposed to the med bruise, which you could just use like constantly, but we'll see. It's probably a good opportunity to test out the blood packs. I've got mega rabies, but I also have blood. So there we go. Yeah, it's got a cooldown of 40 seconds, so it might allow me to survive. Let's see, I just, man, there's so many enemies in here, it's insane. I, I definitely need to get some foundations or something to stop them from spawning. It's weird, because they, they weren't, there was like no enemies in here when I first got to this cave. So maybe they adjusted it and made enemies spawn in here? I don't know. What an absolute god. This guy killed, um, killed freaking Hottie and Skull or whatever. Uh, in the last episode, that was pretty intense. <laughs> oh, hey, Snack 3. You're up now. You laid an egg for some reason. I'm going to name you Happy um, Happy Dude 2. And then what I'll do is teleport over to the Wyvern Shrine with Dismodus and pick up my teleporter there. I think that'll work. Um, I hope that's not uh, an inconvenience for anyone who uses the Wyvern Shrine a lot. I just want to be able to you know, get in and out of the cave uh, easily. So that's what I'm gonna try and do if it lets me pick it up. Let's see, pick up Wyvern Shrine. Oh, cool. All right, well, there we go. This one's private, I'm okay with that. So now I can, uh, you know, easily get some surface resources and then take them back to my base. Very handy indeed. I definitely should uh, should expand the base a little bit. It's It's a little bit cramped, that's for sure. Oh, I forgot. You know what? I forgot I could do the S plus gun thing. I don't remember how to do that, though. <laughs> um, it's like the Omni tool or something. Omni tool. Omni tool. Hold reload to open the mode and select UI. It's good to have an actual one. Maybe it's put some meat in there. This thing should honestly extend. Yeah, it extends all the way to Mr. Happy Towns. Very cool. Very cool. I think I just put a bunch of meat in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Whoopsie. Put this, let's see, put that away, put this over in here, and shazam, there we go, nice. All right, let's grab spark powder, get that in the preserving bin. I wonder, I wanna see the, um, just how far this thing extends in the cave itself. Uh, show range, okay, it extends over there. If I put one in the middle, it would probably cover the entire cave, so um, probably I should do that all the wood that I'll probably need. Honestly, might not might not even need harvesting dinos, because, I mean, I should probably get them anyway, but honestly, like, being able to just kind of teleport around and get stuff makes this whole process uh, a lot easier. Come here, buddy, can you still walk? Oh, oh, okay, almost just flew off. Could've been bad. Let's teleport back. Happy dude, let's, um, let's go and get some stone with you, shall we? Some stone, oh yeah. Frickin' Hey Ned. See people have been <laughs> stealing your crowns. Here's some Aw oh, dude! What? I didn't even see this! That's so nice! Aw oh, man, I don't even know who gave who's legendary. I don't know who that is. I'm not sure. Thank you, whoever gave that to me. I I, I really appreciate that. Wow. All right, um, well, I'm gonna put these turrets up then. <laughs> Didn't realize just how, like, simple it would be to get, or to, like, I don't know, I always thought turrets would be really complicated, but, like, seeing it broken down in just, like, a couple items makes it a lot more, like, a lot easier for me to understand. 
There we go. I don't know why I'm putting it up there, but you know what? I feel like it. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna get up there though. <laughs> then, I'm gonna put the door right here. This right here. The generator. Oh, it snaps. Oh, that's so cool. What the heck? And then, I guess I'll, oh, oh there we go. <laughs> there goes that. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'll be able to fit in there through a door, if I'm being honest. All right, um, and then I'll sort of, I don't know yet how to split things up exactly um, with like, I know there's like a tool for that. Oh my, what? You can, that's, that's insane. That's so many things. I don't know anything about PvP. I don't know if uh, I should have it on Thames as well, but there we go. <laughs> that's that. Um, these are on and there's gas in that thing. All right, well, I think these turrets uh, will do uh, something at least. Uh, more than nothing, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you again to whoever gave those to me. I appreciate it. That's very kind of you. All right, I should get a fabricator. Fabricator, a CP, and spark powder. Um, let's see, we just need more stone and like chitin slash keratin. Stone. Here we go. Man, S plus makes things so much faster. It's crazy. Oh, wait, these are regular stone. Wait, how do I turn like. I feel like there's a way to turn regular structures into... Let me see if that's what this does. Um, go ahead and grab... Oh, but that looks weird. That looks weird now. No. I can't believe I made gross regular walls. How could I? I'm such a monster. Disgusting standard walls. Is this... Uh, wow. You can straight up just harvest all this stuff. Awesome. This is like... I need stone and curtain slash cutting for the CP, so this is the perfect perfect combination of resources around me right now. Still gotta do a bit of dancing around with resources, but man, what a time saver. saver. Right click, walk into my base, boom. There we go. I returned after a bathroom break and it turns out my fan was going for a long time, so I'm sorry about that if you sort of heard that in the background. Uh, let me, oh, I have meat on there. Let me put that in the trough. Also got this shotgun from the um, Hati and Skull fight, which was really nice. Raz gave that to me as part of uh, the reward for joining him, which was very much appreciated. Oh, uh, so chainsaw, we need metal, we need electronics, which I may, nope, I don't have, but I do have silica pearls. So looks like our harpoon launcher should be good. You know, I, it never really occurred to me, but I'm really glad thinking about it. I'm really glad they added the net projectiles, not just for the fact that they help with taming, but for the fact that it makes the harpoon launcher a lot more useful. Uh, it used to be the case that they were essentially useless because you could always have like a far better, um, uh, you know, crossbow underwater uh, to essentially like out output more damage than the harpoon launcher ever could with its projectiles. But now with the nets, it makes them actually really useful, which is awesome. So I should have enough now. I'm gonna make a chainsaw. Don't think I had one yet. It'd be really sad if I already had one. Yeah, it looks like we didn't. And grab some gas and um, wait for that bad boy to get made up. You know what I will need that uh, for the Megaloceros that I don't have is darts. I don't have um, trink darts. I do have a long neck, um, but I should use those over arrows, I think, because just to sort of step up into that level so I'm not still using a crossbow, because at this point I definitely, I've got like a 200 damage long neck I think that I found in the cave when I was getting those artifacts back in episode 5 I believe get this one and then probably get out of here <laughs> not uh, not a very safe that's for sure but yeah I don't know if you can you tell like the blood is like in slow motion I don't know what that is I don't know if you guys notice what I'm talking about 10,000 hours an arc be like what is this what on earth is this? What? Uh, it's insane. It's like a honey rock. What the heck? That's awesome. This is a. Uh, this looks like it's from Atlas or something. Like it. I feel like I recognize it from Atlas. That's awesome. Wow. I, all right. Well. Um, I don't know if that's a Fjorder thing or like a modded thing, but I am very welcoming of it nonetheless. Oh, there's another one. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why not? Carrying back 250 honey and 775 organic polymer. 
So, I need a Megaloceros, and I've got Kibble, but we need to get some darts. Really loving that the S plus Mortar and Pestle, I've said it before, but it's kind of like a mini chemistry bench with how fast it crafts stuff. It just doesn't do the, you know, extra yield that the chem bench does. You know what? You can make a metal storage box, can't you? Storage. Oh yeah, metal storage box. I want to try this out. I've always wondered what it was like. A little box right here. Don't think I can see through it. Yep, that's all right. Put all this, all this gilly. I accidentally crafted all these gilly gloves by accident. So I guess I'll just toward them. I mean, I don't really need them. I can toss out at least a couple. All right. Now, it's time to go looking to tame some things. There we go. Oh my, what happened to the shadows? That's very scary looking. All right, let's look around. It's definitely very dark. But yeah, I'm gonna keep my eye out for Megaloceros. Ooh, there's a box. Oh, there's one. Level 85 female. Dang it. 95. Dude, they're all females. What? This one's 140, but again, it, it's a female. I'm kind of tempted to tame it anyway, just because um, it's such high level. I mean, I do have enough kibble for two, so I'll go for it. Dude, what is with the hit reg? <laughs> what the hell? Alright. Cool. I'll eat a sanguine elixir real fast. Lost a little bit of tame in there. That's uh, unfortunate. I forgot to put food in before I uh, did that. Yeah, that'll be the last mega creature. Or creature that starts with mega that I'll need the bubble for. All right. Check. Check. Ooh. All right, so onward to look for more. Oh, there's one, but it's female. Oh my God, it's a male. And it's level 25. You know what? Whatever. Mine. I'll take it. I'm not going to tame it, probably. I'm just going to carry it with me until I find a better one. <laughs> At least I know that they exist. So that's, that's good to know. And he's got yellow horns as well. <laughs> or yellow um, crest, a yellow crest. What would you call this? Yellow, the, the thing, the, the tusks, I, not tusks. They're not tusks, they're um, something made out of keratin. Oh man, please tell me you're not the only Megaloceros, male Megaloceros in this, uh, in this forest. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay, there's a base there. All right, good to know, good to know. <laughs> I will. Uh, I am determined to find a male Megaloceros. Oh, that's a male, level 50. All right, so this is already a better deal. Uh, not much, but this one's blue, so automatically I like it more. Goodbye, buddy. You're not high enough level. Neither is this blue one, but he's the best I've got so far. So, yeah, I think what I'll do is just take this guy and tame him. And then uh, just breed him with the female. And Oh, here we go. Uncheck. Check and uncheck. Check, because check, check was actually cool, but uncheck is not cool, so he's the uh, negation of check, which is uncheck. Yes. Okay. Grab uncheck. Ooh, beaver tams. Hey. Might have some CP. I have to go inside to get it. Was in need of a Casteroides, kinda. Uh, maybe grab the red one, but first let me um, loot the rest of these dams. Wow, I didn't even know these existed. This is pretty sweet. They're definitely gonna be, oh. oh I might get mauled in a second. Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. Oh, freaking scary things. That one's 95 though, so it'd probably be more worth it to tame. Ow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I need it, I need it. Also, I need you. <laughs> You're mine now. You can. Amazing. These beavers were not very happy that I'd done this, but you know what would be happy right about now? G Portal, because I'm talking about them for the next 30 seconds. Are you looking for your own ARC server or a server for another game? Well, look no further. G Portal is a great server provider that has really fast, well-performing servers, responsive support, and really great pricing options as well. If you're looking to avoid the hassle of setting up and configuring your own ARC server, go ahead and use my referral link in the description to get your own G-Portal server today and receive a 10% discount on G-Portal servers while you're supporting me as a creator at the same time. And of course, thank you to G-Portal for sponsoring this video. Now let's see if the beavers gnaw off my limbs. Oh, oh okay, let me get out of here. Okay, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, beavers are no joke. These are really no freaking joke at all. 
All right, let's um, let's um, yeah. This is but this is so much stuff. I need it. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't know that was like the whole thing. Let's see if I can grab this. Come on, come on. Being all sneaky, robbing them in broad daylight. Oh god. Nope. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Nope. Oh god! Alright. I can't believe I just got beaten up by a bunch of casteroides. That's rough. <laughs> hey guys, nothing to see here. Glad they don't care I'm still holding on to their resources. <laughs> That's not like wyverns where they actually know that you took their egg. Level 95 right here. You are now mine. You belong to me now. We got a whole 2600 CP out of that. A thousand pearls, rare mushrooms, and rare flowers. That is a solid yield. Oh, no. Oh, 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 it did. Ha! Oh my god. <laughs> the beaver's right near. Sweet. Hey, buddy. Welcome to my house. You will now go to sleep. There we go. All right, so um, before I eat this egg with elixir, I'm going to actually make sure I put some food in this guy. But yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to berry tame it the rest of the way. Like I'll be able to do a combination of sanguine elixir, kibble, and berries. So let me head over to the surface. Not sure why I still have my bear trap on me. <laughs> um, I don't remember where I got it from. Oh, I think I got it from the Pokemon event. I may very well activate it myself. Well, actually, can I? When does it activate? Oh, there we go. All right, can I? Oh, yep, okay, you, of course. Of course I would trap myself in my own bear trap. <laughs> oh, hey. Dude, yes! Ha! Could make this the entire time. Oh, are you serious? It woke up. Uh, it woke up because I got stuck. Ah, oh, you're kidding me, man. Oh, what? There was Megaloceros here the whole time? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. I could have been searching here. Man. Ah. Oh. Well, in that case, I could probably still search um, for more males for maybe, you know, a different one. It's good to know. You are not waking up, mister. No, 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 no. Okay, that's, uh, that's doing its thing. It's gonna take a pretty, pretty long while, but <laughs> eventually it'll be done. Ah. Uh, my entire gate is gone. The, the entire thing is gone. <laughs> what? Okay. My turrets? Fine. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I need a new gate, like, immediately. Because, uh, <laughs> something tells me whoever did that is coming right back with something much, uh, much heavier power. Why do my, why does my gate keep getting destroyed, man? <laughs> Just trying to breed my deer. Tame my annoying castoroides, which is about to wake up, my god. Oh, there we go. Alright. I'm salty, okay? I'm salty. He woke up. I'm sure it's gonna get blown up again, but I don't care! I'm stubborn! I will not- I will not be bullied by these fellow creators. I refuse! I will not be harassed in my own private domicile! BITCH! As much as I should probably try and get some more turrets down, uh, I don't have a whole lot of metal. All right, things are looking uh, a little bit better. What? <laughs> okay, beavers can gather the keratin apparently. Interesting. Yeah, we got a lot done. Got a, uh, got some turrets up that were gifted to me, and I'll try and get some more because I actually have the foundations to do so with my fabricator, metal, and all that. Um, made a little metal storage box for my non-resource stuff. Got a generator. Yeah, got a bunch of stuff going. I'm really excited. Uh, if you like this episode, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye, everyone.